and be motivated. What? What's up? Here with my boy Austin, chilling today. Today's session is going to be on fun sarcasm. You know, we always choo choose these ones just randomly out of the air. Today is because it's kind of how I, I motivate, is with fun sarcasm. I'm always... I, I try to do really. I, I try to make it fun, right? Like it's it's kind of crazy. It is. It's unorthodox. It's fun though. It's fun and we get it. That's the best part. You yeah. gotta have a good heart about it. Yeah, like because when you come up and you ask me a question, the answer is always instantly no. Like, and it doesn't matter what it is. But you know, if you're like, "Hey, do you want to go get a nice glass of the best water in the world?" I'd be like, "No. Why would I want to do that?" And it's fun just because it's that. You know, knock Immediate. them off their feet, just like, and you, you invoke a reaction, right? The stunner. I think too much of life just going through it and not making it interesting. Not, sarcasm is what's fun in life. Like, it really is. If you look, why We're do you laugh? We're just always expecting the answer. So when you hear something you don't expect, you know, just getting the sudden, the jolt. Of, oh, oh, I what I... makes you laugh? Like, literally. It's like when somebody's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, genuine... Uh, not too much of pain to my friends, you know. That's always a good one. You know, like if they fall, like for instance, the door. Like that's like, sense, like it's good humor. It doesn't hurt your friend, but you can look and it's got maybe a little bruise and you can laugh at it. And like that's funny. <clears throat> What's cool about those is not only is it fun, but we remember them forever. That's what this whole thing's about. You just... It's never making fun of each other. Mm -hmm. It's always having fun with each other. It's exactly. Just, how do we? How do we make an impact? Right. Like, mm -hmm. Make a memory, and make each other laugh. That's. I think that's really the key to life: to building a family, a community of like-minded people who can laugh. Just freaking laugh. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy life with each other. Not, you know, be upset at your friend, just no matter what it is. Just always laugh and have a good time and always take the, the more positive end, you know, the, the, the lighter end of things. You got to appreciate, you got to appreciate <clears throat> sarcasm. That's the whole, the whole key of today's message is to be interesting by appreciating sarcasm and being sarcastic yourself, but doing it in a way where you're not being rude. And if it's misconstrued, you, you set it straight, but that is just, it's really to just, it's a leg sweeper. Like, it's like, what? You know, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's. Uh, <laughs> you just saw what I saw. I don't know what to say to that. I don't either. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not certain oh, what that is. Oh, like, he's asked for the sarcasm, you know, like, the look, look what I got in my pocket, Garen. Here you go. Can y'all see it? Oh. Oh, oh, one of these to the crowd. Like, that's a beautiful sarcasm. Like, you didn't expect it, but it was coming. And you know, it's a beautiful thing you can laugh and at. And, like, with when your you're a kid, it's, it's like that stupid little circle <laughs> game, you know, like where you get Yeah, you know, the, you know, for everyone on Facebook, oh, 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 everyone on Facebook, an arm punch. Is that what that is? <laughs> that's always a good one, too. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the pup, and the reason why we have these puppets is because they're integral to our sarcasm in the office like if you ask me a really obvious question you know the mb2 machine just might be like no shit you know or thanks a lot captain obvious you know just realistic stuff that you got to have in your life mm -hmm. you got to have these just straight moment breakers when you go home tonight try to do really sarcastic stuff in a in a fun meaningful way where everyone knows you're kidding <laughs> and you'll change the attitude and the atmosphere. If there's any tension, it, it evaporates. People look forward, you know. I'll tell you one thing I do with my kids quite a bit. You know, what, what do we always say to our kids before bed? Oh, I love you. I Good love night. you, right? Oh, yeah. Right? So every once in a while, you know, and this, it would never be the last thing I'd say to them. But I'd be like, you know, you're grounded. Mm -hmm. You know, just for no reason at all. And then they'll say, well, no, I'm not grounded. And the whole idea there is, you know, it gets them to say, well, I don't ever want to be grounded. It gets mm -hmm. them thinking that instead of using it like as a weapon, you use it as a tool. Yeah. And you can do the same thing with I love you. I think there's a lot of challenges because people don't, um, people don't feel loved 
There's a lot of people in the world that just don't feel loved. And it's not that they don't hear, I love you. It's that they don't hear, I don't love you in a fun way. So they don't reassure themselves because that's what that's what this is all about. It's about reassurance yeah, and being confident. And so, like, I, I'll do it with my kids where I'll, I'll give them a noogie and I'll be like, ah, I don't even love you, right? <laughs> and they're like, yes, you do. And then they come back and then they're, you know, jumping on my leg or whatever. Yeah. And I think that's important because we don't do it. And then, you know, because I force that interaction where I tell them I love them and I give them hugs and kisses constantly, but then I also kind of give them know, the other end i give them fun sarcasm mm -hmm. so they they laugh and they realize it and then they verbalize it Definitely. and that that's that's the tool that fun sarcasm is and when you learn how to master it instead of teaching people by trying to prove a point out of a textbook you can do it by having fun with them and just egging them on just a little bit <laughs> and eventually like you've shared a lot of laughs over it and everyone's gotten better. That's that's what fun sarcasm. Heck yeah. It's like a new form of constructive criticism, but it's more fun. And it's not even constructive criticism because yeah. it's just like... Well, most people build off it still, most of, even though it's funny. Most fun sarcasm is really because we just, <coughs> we ask questions quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like if we went to a movie together, what's going to happen next, right? Like, like, how the hell would I know, right? Like, it just... Yeah, naturally. And that's, that's the fun sarcasm, mm -hmm. like where you just make the story up and you're like, oh, yeah. And then when they say, well, how do you know that's what happened next? What would you say? Well, I would say because either if I've seen the movie, I would say because I've seen it, but oh, I'd be like, man, I don't know. I'm just making that up. Yeah, I see. No, I, I, I'd, I'd stick <laughs> just to Just making that up, man. I'd stick I, I'd to it with conviction. I would be like, <laughs> I read the plot on... on Google, you know, I Googled the plot before we came and I read oh, it because I was so excited about it. So I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen next. Like, because if you ask me what's going to happen next and you go to a movie with me that I haven't seen and you ask oh, me that, man. that's probably the answer you're going to get. Like, yep. and to me, you, at the end of it, you're going to be like, well, why would you do that? Now I'm going to be like, well, you that's asked fun me. sarcasm. Yeah. Like, you just, you asked me kind of a question. Oh, that, man. Right? That's, no, that's right, man. That's funny. That's fun sarcasm, the epitome of it, definitely. Well, so there's a few things that have happened here in the office, you know. Um, Aust uh, well, I, I, I'll, I'll keep names out of this one, but I like to do the real unexpected to just to be a leg sweeper, you know, just take people off their, their guard and just make them, take them out. make them wake up, like be like, what is going on around me? So the, the other day I go to a friend's house and... Um, they have a grinder full of some cannabis. And so I walk up, I unscrew it, and I go in their face, like almost like you would do like with the powdered sugar. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, there's fun sarcasm, and then there's shit that'll get you punched in the eye. I wouldn't recommend yeah. that one. Don't blow on your friend's grinder full of buds. He's not going to appreciate that. He won't. But, see, that's kind of the chance you take when you do fun sarcasm. Is you're going to do things that are... you got to tell them one of the big keys with fun sarcasm is the smile. You have to smile if you do it. Because if you do fun sarcasm <laughs> and don't smile, it is no longer fun sarcasm. <laughs> the smile is very key to all that. Like, if you don't do that, then oh man. Like, I, you got I, that you, down. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the, you got to smile. Like, you, do it and smile. Now, in, and laugh. in reality... How many doors have we opened using this? Like, I mean, it's insane. Insane. The opportunities and the size that we've gotten from just fun sarcasm. From Having knowing fun that. With people. And Telling a joke. Knowing how to be a leg sweeper to a gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a real, it's a trait and it's a skill set. And if you practice fun sarcasm just in, in your general life, when you need it at that moment, You'll know exactly how to be a leg sweeper and, and get them to think you're interesting, which is the first key to getting a yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what fun sarcasm can do for you. We've used it at trade shows every all over the world. Every trade show. Every, well, every trade show. Technically, every trade show we've <laughs> ever been to. And it's always the exact same thing. It's always yeah. fun sarcasm. I like you know, the term leg sweeper, too. 
Yeah. That's th- exactly what that would be is the leg sweeper. Like something you don't expect. Like, did he just leg sweep me? Oh, you did. did. Leg sweep me? Why, yes, okay. you leg sweep me. <laughs> Sweat me. That's good. That's perfect. Perfect term for that too, man. I think that's just what it is. You know, it's just mm-hmm. you you go in and you do stuff that's unexpected and look the part, right? If you're going to be, but that's part of the key. Like the smiles, part of it. it look but the part. Also, you have to be dressed appropriately. Mm-hmm. You know, it, you have to know your audience and your surrounding. If you already look very interesting when you're practicing fun sarcasm. It's it helped. makes it much easier, right? Because they already know that you're an interesting person. So then when you come in with a leg sweep, they're like, okay, that was, that that's was to be expected. Funny. Like, I don't, I don't know why I didn't see that from the guy in the bright yellow suit, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the yeah. whole key to fun sarcasm. That is. But I want to I do a giveaway. Definitely. How do you feel about a giveaway? Let's give some stuff away to some of our Magical Butter fam out there. Let's see what we got. Hashtag MB's got balls. What? MB's got balls for some Magical Butter beach balls. Summer's coming up, so we'll send them to you. Make sure you share and hashtag. Three machines, uh, or, or three beach balls for a hashtag MB's got balls. Oh, what's, man. What's your, uh, what's your gimmick, brother? What's your leg sweep? What, what's oh, your go-to? Oh, man. I got a couple leg sweeps. One of one. This is one I do, you know, mess around sometimes with some people. Like, a, if I got a wholesale shop, they'll come and ask me, and they'll come up to us because a lot of times manufacturers doesn't always do direct. And they'll come and be like, "Hey, man, do you do wholesale?" And I pull the gear and I, no, no wholesale. I just give it to like, and the immediate face of, oh, because you know they just found magical butter themselves. They want to come do it. But then I'll give them a hug and be like, "Nah, man, I'm just kidding. Of course you do wholesale." And that, on the road, for events, you know, like, you would think that that's one way, but that's a lot of the times, truthfully, that's a been a good suit. one for me. That's the leg yeah. suit. That's the leg suit, because it's something they don't, like, you're, tr- you're there to sell stuff. So when you say no, and, like, so, like, just no, give them the straight, they're like, oh. And then you get them, and they're like, no, I'm just kidding, man, I love you. <laughs> and, and then from there, it's good. That's how you break the ice. And it's so important that you have the ability to be interesting and, and be a leg sweeper, break the yeah. ice, whatever the analogy is. If you really want to get somewhere, fun sarcasm is the easiest way. Heck yeah. Because if you can make somebody laugh, laugh, you win. That's all you have to do in life is make other people happy. It's the easiest way to get what you want is to just make other people happy. Definitely. Once you understand that equation. Hey, man, we build a lot on it. You win every day. That's why we get to win every day because, you know, we... we do a lot of on making other people happy. Yeah, that's like, what you know. Make other people happy, make people laugh, laugh yourself, smile. You know, it's all it's a simple equation, but it goes a long way. Here's how we like to make people smile. We like to <coughs> give stuff away. Three magical butter machines just for uh, hitting the share button there. We're giving away three magical butter machines. Three Those winners will be posted Wednesday. Machines. It's a big week this week. Yep. 420 coming up right around the corner. That's Thursday. Right. I'll be on Cheddar at I'll be on Cheddar 9:30 in the morning tomorrow. Please tune in. Talking Ooh. about all kinds of cannabis news from Is that the last New York week. Stock Exchange? That's on, on the New York Stock Exchange. What? Check Man. this one out. You want a fun one? I do. Let's Thursday, see. Thursday. 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 Live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Oh. For 420. That <laughs> will be one of the greatest <laughs> That's, memories of my business You haven't even told career. me this yet, really. Are you going to be at the New York Stock Exchange on 420? At the opening bell. Oh, my God. It's going to be spectacular. Really excited. So tune in That's to Cheddar. That's amazing. It's, it's going to be money. That's a different 420. Like, usually everyone's used to, like, going and, you know, you party and partake with your buddies. But that's, like, the businessman's 420 extravagant. Like, that's... That's it's amazing. <laughs> one of the, it'll be one of... It'll, I'm really looking forward to it. That's, yeah, that's it, a good one. The CNBC Make sure you got good was, sarcasm. Was amazing. That was a, a wonderful experience as far as a business accolade. And <clears throat> this is going to be a box that I, I really look forward to checking. So excited about that. Tune in for those. Tomorrow from 4.20 to 6 o'clock, we have the Magical Butter radio show. Ooh. Tune in for that. That should yep. be fun. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What do we got happening? Where are we? We're in San Bernardino, California for the High Times Cannabis Cup. What? I am excited, and we're doing a Top Chef Cannabis Cook-Off. 
and we're going to have, I think it's eight competitors going back and forth, head-to-head, -head, cooking all the most delicious cannabis-infused foods in California. And at the end of it, we're going to have one winner, and we're going to be giving them a nice award of one giant human life-sized check. Just like you see at all those amazing shows, like, like Masters, all that. Like, really, happy, it's from Happy Gilmore. Yeah, Happy Gilmore. <laughs> like, where is it from? It's from yeah. Happy Gilmore. <laughs> yep, that's where it's from. But that's ben Publishers. We'll be getting one right? of them. Yep, that's right. So that's what we're going to be at, man. Partying, having a good time, celebrating the after 420 for a couple days with the high times and all the rest of our friends out there. So it should be a good one. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And yeah, then, man. Three uh, days of that. Three days of that. Days. It's going to be spectacular. I have, and from there I'm in Greenwich, Connecticut for a few days. So my schedule is New York City, Stock Exchange, LA. Oh, Cannabis. Yeah, fun. don't announce it by stead. Announce it by fun. It's like you're at the New York Stock Exchange. There's New York Stock Exchange. Ching, ching, cheddar. Then you're coming back across the country to California for the Hot Times Cannabis Cup. Whoop, and whoop. then you're going, what was the last one? Greenwich, Connecticut. Man. Is something fun going? You gotta have stuff. stuff. It's, it's you gotta like make it seem like it's fun. Meet with very interesting people. No, it's meet amazing. with very interesting people. What? I love it. They're there amazing you go. people. They're <laughs> some of the smartest people I know. I, I love, I love the opportunity to just Thank spend you, time man. with them. Beautiful. Uh, that's that's what we got. Let's do those giveaways. Can we do those giveaways, brother? Well, for our machines, you're announcing those Wednesday or Wednesday. Well, let's, let's keep this segment going. Yeah, and man. Give let's some keep stuff this going. Away. Look, I have all this stuff over here to give away. We have all this stuff. I got a. Magical Butter 4-Pack. And if you can hashtag Magical Butter 4-Pack. Hey, this, is, this, this is MB Motivate during 420 weeks, so we're not just going to give the 4-Pack away. We're going to throw in a T-shirt. What? Yeah, we're going to do 4 MB T-shirts. I'm not even allowed to do that. The man himself's got to offer us such an some... amazing package. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do 4 T-shirts with 4 packs for hashtag... I was going to say Magical Butter 4 Pack. Hashtag but MB loves me. Hashtag MB loves me. We do love you. Yeah. We love you a we lot. We do love all the Magical Butter fam, man. Y'all the reason we get to be here and have fun and hang out with y'all every day. This is a, a good thing. And this is a big week for, for the world of cannabis. It's 420 week. It's, it's cannabis week, as, as we call it. And uh, I did a, a segment earlier uh, on a different outlet, but... Cannabis is a dietary essential, and unfortunately, we look at it as a medicine, and really what it is, it's a preventative vegetable. We have to change our thought pattern and get out of the thought that this is a medicine or a drug. This is a dietary essential that if we just took time and got our nutritional values correct and we started to prevent disease, we could live longer and be happier and healthier and that's really the society I want to live in. I feel we need to shift some of our budget from uh, military expenses and start to invest a lot more in public health. If we could help the world be a better place, I really think that's the movement to peace. And this may be my only segment for 420 for Cannabis Week, and I want that to go on record as one of the biggest problems and challenges that faces the world today is the fact that public health and our healthcare system is completely inverted and botanical me medicine, plant-based solutions should be our first choice and we should learn from those because they're natural and they're here and if we started to just consume more organic botanicals, we'd win. I love you guys. I had to get that out because I want that to be part of my legacy. I know I'm right, and I know a lot of other people in the world. I'm not the only one with that thought process. I just have a microphone to say it. So I appreciate all my colleagues, contemporaries, friends in the industry. Happy 420 week. Here's some winners for shirts and uh, filter pack combos. This Where's is, this microphone? We got a megaphone this yeah, one got up. Yeah, a megaphone. Gary Mons. What? Gary Mons. Heather Stacy. Heather Stacy. Evelyn Gomez. What? Mrs. Evelyn Gomez. And I know I got what's one shot into this thing. Michael Gilmore. Woo! Woo! 420 week. Let's do four more giveaways right that. now. 
It's good. This one's going to be for magical butter machines. We're going to give away four magical butter machines right now. What? Live. Right now on live. Yep. Tell them what they got to do, Garen. Hashtag NB420. What? Hashtag NB420. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Because I, I just got notified that I must go home for dinner shortly. <laughs> So we're going to do two live, and we're going to do two picked later. All nice. Right. So we're going to two machines live, and we're going to pick two later. We And we still have to go back and do... We're also going to do the hashtag MB's Got Balls for the four beach yeah. balls, because we didn't do those. And on these And we machines, should do four more if they do it after. Like, okay. MB, like, so I like that. I like, so let's just... This is a giveaway. This is a giveaway. Extravaganza. 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 So want this bag. It's, it's going to so be much four fun. MB Magical Butter Machines... The MB2Es, and we're going to throw in a glove so you get two love gloves. What? Yeah, dude, it's That's the extravaganza. Gonna that help people is, out. That's what and then we got four more Ooh. beach balls for hashtag MB's got balls, so that's eight, eight beach balls. It looks like we're getting some beach ball names in right now. Ooh. All right, we, well, you know what? Then there's going to be, so w there's four beach balls live now, and then we'll do the other four later. Totally. Because the four from earlier. Perfect. That works. Perfect. Then we'll do it that way. That, that works. Ideal. Dollar. All right. How, how about how about a hand of, round of applause we, for deep big? Can we get a round of applause for Dalton for really Dalton operating Brown. the camera back here? He's killing it. And the rest of his staff. Yes. Man, you get, my, our I, video crew needs to get more of an applause, man. They really do kill thank it. Thank you, MV Productions. We love you guys. Woo! They are the bomb. We don't, we don't give them enough credit. We need to get an applauser in here, so it sounds like this. I agree. Like, yeah. Ah, you know, we just, ah, all we gotta do, all we gotta do is pump it through the microphone. Ah, hear it. I mean, like, but they'll hear it live. Well, no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> it, does. It, it didn't work, right? It like, didn't. I tried to. I tried. Did that to sound apply. like a loud audience to y'all? Can y'all? <sighs> so let's get that set up where we can. So we can give y'all some applause at least. Because we love the video crew. Y'all do kill it for us. Every day. Definitely. Every day. All right, <laughs> we got to give this stuff away, man. We All right. People... Magical butter balls. Let them know I mean, who's getting one. See, like, this is fun give sarcasm. <laughs> when you take the ball and you throw it at the camera, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been See, fun sarcasm. See, but I'm crazy though. enough to do it. And that's why it's fun. It's because I've thrown stuff at the cameras a gazillion times. So, But, right, like, yeah. I think Dalton's heart probably just dropped. Alex, do you just... Tight slightly. Balls, Judy Sharon, Gail Muzon, Dennis Jenser. Oh, and Dustin Becker. <laughs> that's four machines. Now we're going to, uh, uh, that's, that's four the balls. four beach balls. Four ball, beach balls. We're going to do two machines yep. and a partridge and a pear tree. That's right. And two later, but not on live. Two, two live. Two right later, now. and then there's four more beach balls. Yep. And there's three more machines for sharing it. We yep. gave away so much. I know. So it feels sure like it was a 420. Extravaganza on 417. Oh. <laughs> All week we're going to be giving away a plethora of stuff. It's nonstop giveaways. This is our festival like week. Like This is, is when it all has come together for And then us. we're giving away so much stuff live in Cali this I know. weekend. It's gonna. I got it packed. Spectacular. Man. I got swag packs I should bring, packed to give I away. I should bring a huge swag pack to the New York Stock Exchange, guys. Let's set that up. There's another swag pack we got to build. We're gonna right do there. a huge one. Well, uh, let's bring hundreds of shirts to the floor and just give them to everybody. <laughs> Kevin Braun, Brandy, Entrikin. You guys have won magical butter machines. Whoa, magical butter giveaway. I oh, know. I got a round of applause. I wish I could clap and scream into that thing at the same time. It's a 420 extravaganza. We love you guys. Practice fun sarcasm. Be a leg sweeper. Be interesting. Fun. Dress the part. Love it. Own it. Open doors. Create envelopes. Set. Make sure you smile when you do it all. Don't forget that key part. Smile. Smile. There, I mean, let's let's regroup because this is. I think this was really good yeah, content that key. we threw out there. Um, dress dress the part. You know. Yeah. Um. Look the part, dress Looked the part. Apart. Look good, feel good. Smile. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Walk up there with a smile. And it's got to be a good smile. Don't half-ass the smile. You got to give them the... And when you get an <laughs> obvious question, answer the wrong way. 
And then when they look up, because you're going to break their boring pattern, they're just checking boxes, being a gatekeeper, saying no, 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 no. When you get them to look up, have a smile, and you'd be like, I'm just kidding. And you've opened the door. You've at least given yourself an opportunity. Don't be afraid if it doesn't work. Just keep trying it over and over and over and over again. Two things will happen. You'll perfect your skill set. And also, it's the law of numbers. If you make people smile enough times, the door is open for you. Peace out. Cheers Definitely. to goodness. We love you. Happy Thank 420 you, week. Magical Butter fam. Thank Everybody. you so much for uh, doing you. a segment yeah, with me. Definitely, Always man. cool hanging. Always love it. Always love definitely. it, brother. You're the Magical ball. Butter. Woo! Peace, Peace out, out. y'all.